Stay alert. Magneto brought friends. Previously on X-Men Evolution. Wolverine's gone. Without Sabretooth, we'll never find Magneto. Now I'm forced to make my move. What is going on? You've never driven us this hard. I'd like you to welcome your new teammates. I'm done with this. The mansion's gone nuts! The Institute will self-destruct. Just Institute. get us out whatever way you came in! Someone must ensure the survival of our species. What's your game, Trask? The Sentinel. And now the whole world will know of us. What's happening? Wanda, release my powers! What happened? Where are the students? We're all right. It was you! You did this! <laughs> yes, I did do it. And now things are about to get much worse. security replay. You locked those kids in, then set it to blow! How long have you been impersonating the professor? Where is he? <laughs> Don't bother trying to probe my mind. It won't work. <sighs> She's blocking me somehow. I'm not getting anything. Then she'd better start unblocking now! If you ever want to see Xavier again, you will back off! Huh? Oh, stop right there. Make tracks. Got him. Oh, him. We're gonna need reinforcements. Subjects are unarmed, but highly dangerous. Ooh, beautiful and bad. Lookout point. 
frightened citizens flee in terror. Now positively identified as Kitty Pride, a high school sophomore. The daughter of Professor and Mrs. John Gray of Annandale. Daniels, a recent transfer to Bayville from PS 104. Who are they? Flesh and blood? Or some kind of mutant monsters? Are we being invaded by alien beings? A special report tonight examines... Refuse to comment on rumors that the entire student body of the mysterious Xavier Institute and for Gifted... And classmates at Bayville High report seeing many examples of strange phenomena, Principal Edward Kelly cautions everyone to not overreact. And I promise we'll bring you more information on the captive mutants the moment it becomes available. You know, what about the fear wins the day as a national paranoia grips the country. Neighbor versus neighbor, friend against friend, entire families afraid to even step outside their doors for fear of the mutant menace my fellow americans this is a time for gathering facts not finger pointing not turning against one another as your president i urge you above all to stay calm we're clear come on i know a place Hey, hey, chill. It's just us. <sighs> Sorry, it just seems like everyone in this country is out hunting mutants. Get used to it. Mystique! We want answers! When I'm ready! Look. I want you all to know that I had nothing to do with Magneto's plan to expose our little secret to the world. It's a new world out there, and we're going to need new leadership. If nothing else, this public reaction proves that Xavier was wrong. Humans and mutants cannot live together in peace. Why are you here, Mystique? What is it you want from us? I want the same thing you want. The military has taken a member of my team. I want him back. The problem is, I don't know where to start looking. Maybe I do. Man, is there anyone that didn't know about this secret meeting? Who are you? What do you want? Nick Fury, agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. I've been tracking you for hours. S.H.I.E.L.D.? Logan told me about it. It's kind of like a super CIA. I strongly suggest that you forget where you found us. That's just to prove a point. If I'd wanted to capture you, you'd be captured. Then what do you want of us? To give you this. It contains maps and schematics of the military base where they're holding your friends. I think you'll find it useful. And just why are you being so helpful? Let's just say I've got my reasons. Look, I can't get involved officially, but I can at least point you in the right direction. Good luck. They're gone. Think we can trust them? I don't know. I sensed he was telling the truth, though. Good. All right, then. It looks like we're back in business. We'll split up into teams. Scott, you and Jean. I'll take that, and I'll decide how we handle this. What gives you the right? I told you before to back off! Storm, no. Remember the professor. Wise counsel. All right. Our first priority is Magneto. We need to know if he really perished under that Sentinel robot. Knowing Magneto, I highly doubt it. Toad, I want you to go to New York and find out what you can. I'm going too. Oh, I knew it. You can't stay away from me, can you? It's my cologne. Insect. Fine, you'll both go. The rest of us will use Fury's schematics to plan a rescue operation. Now, we'll need some transportation. Post 26. No, sir, all quiet here. Trust me, nobody's getting anywhere near this baby while I'm. Huh. Huh. Ah! 
Set the course for 115 West, 36 North, Vector 015. Hey, that's Nevada. Area 51. Right. He's not there. Your own father. That must be hard. I know someone who needs a hug. Ow! Oh, the delicious pain of Lamour. Ah, yeah. Magneto might be alive. I have to know for sure. Hmm, say no more, my crimson cutie. I got just the thing. And now we check out yesterday's news. You see, the camera just loves me. <sighs> Keep going. There, go back. Look, I feel your grief, Cuddle Bumps, but, uh, your dad looks pretty well squashed. Huh. Play it again in slow motion. Freeze it! There! Hey, that's Pietro! Yes. My dear brother seems to have performed a last-minute rescue. Which means... Magneto is still alive! Ow! This way. A little paint, a little wallpaper. This place could be downright spooky. Who are you? What business brings you here? Uh, his idea. Every bit of it. Look, we're... We're mutants. Uh, like you. Uh, up there, we're being hunted. We just need a place to hang for a while. I know you are mutants. I always know. I'm Berserker. We're from the Xavier Institute. He'll be safe here. Follow me. Captain wants to see you. Uh, what I do now? Take over, will you? Right, senses are off. Move now. Velocity, just be ready. And you just worry about getting everyone out safely. Who are you? Who are you working for? What's it to you, bub? Who was behind that robot? Did you build it? I want answers! Iceman, third door in the next corridor. I'll cut the motion sensors. Hey, Captain said he didn't know a thing about... Huh? Who are you? Got it covered. Come on. You sure you know what you're doing? Hey, if I don't, every alarm in this place is about to go off. Well, 
so much for the stealth portion of our plan. Come on! Come with me, that way! Intruder alert! Quadrant 3! <laughs> Corporal, secure the holding area! Complicated. See? He'll send you a memo. Now let's go, all of you! <laughs> Time to clear out! This way! We still got company! Then bury him! Hey, wait! See him again. Doors closing. You got three seconds, lady. Let me through. You haven't got the. You lousy. She got what she deserves. Hey guys, come on. You can tear each other apart later. Oh, we will. I guarantee it. Clothes. This is all just Wanda's stuff. Yeah, yeah, well, who cares what we wear? I'd go with the uh, black capris, red top, and matching ruby choker. <sighs> <sighs> she makes a guy wanna brush his teeth. Now 
what? The Institute's gone, the professor's missing, we can't go back to school, and it's open season on mutants. Well, look at the bright side. No homework. Scott, it's not all your fault. Yeah, right. Face it, Jean, I blew it. I gambled and I lost. Without Mystique, there's no way to find the professor. Hey, if you hadn't have done it, I would have. We'll find him without her. But right now, we have a world out there to worry about. A world that fears us. Somehow we must teach them that we are the good guys before it's too late. Days, and this will all be at the bottom of the new reservoir. Then let's kick these things into gear. Everybody, partner up. Sam, you're with me. Let's see some of that motocross muscle I've been hearing so much about. Sure, oh, but I'm not all that good. Okay, watch each other's back. That was nothing compared with what you just did. Oh, you saw that? Only a, a mutant could dissolve through solid rock. Is that what you are? A mutant? 
Yeah, does it matter? Absolutely! Because then you're... you're just like me! I mean, your powers are way cooler, but... Wait, you mean you're a mutant? But I've never seen you around here. I live over there in Dark Hollow with my grandfather. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. I had a guardian angel. What happened? You left your partner. That's what happened. Everyone in Dark Hollow is afraid to come near me. Yes, well, you'll find that the Xavier Institute offers relief from that kind of intolerance. Kitty? Oh, hi, Rogue. I guess I kind of owe you an apology. Don't worry about it. Everything worked out. Plus, I got to meet Danielle. They're still in there? Everyone, please gather in the community room. Come on. Hey, Logan. I was sure surprised to see you coming up short in our race today. Can't claim victory until the finish line is crossed, kid. Uh, I don't blame you for wanting a rematch. Rematch? Oh, okay, if you insist. Tomorrow afternoon, loser washes the bikes. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling I'm being set up? May I have your attention, please? Allow me to introduce Danielle Moonstar, who has agreed to enroll here at the Xavier Institute. Hey, come on, you can share my room. So, uh, what kind of powers are we talking about here, Charles? Well, Logan, she has a form of telepathy. However, I'm afraid her emotional issues run very deep. Hmm. A troubled girl with the power to enter other people's minds. That's not a good thing. <laughs> Don't these kids have a training session or something? Today we'll be focusing on unforeseen obstacles. Your mission is to get your team across the river and claim the flag, despite some surprises along the way. Ready and go! Hop on the pier. We'll float it across. Can't you just ice bridge us over? That's way too far. Sunspot, push us off. Easy, everyone. You're okay. It was just all in your heads, courtesy of our newest member. I should have known this place wouldn't be any different. What happened? Sometimes I, I can't control my powers. But people get mad at me anyway. Danielle, why didn't you at least warn us you could do that? Because... Nobody ever wants a freak around who brings their worst nightmares to life. You're not a freak. Things like that don't matter here. Oh, yes, they do. The professor will want to get rid of me, just like everyone did back home. You're wrong. He would never do that. He better not.
Kitty. Huh? Kitty. I'd like to see you downstairs. Danielle is sound asleep. I bet she doesn't even know what happened. And you're sure she never left your room? I'm sure. <sighs> uh, all right, Kitty. Go on back to bed. I'm sure everything will be fine in the morning. Okay, but please don't be mad at her. Now what, Charles? I'm not sure, Logan. But Daniel Moonstar is a problem we need to deal with. Father. He goes by the name of Black Eagle. Are you sure? <sighs> Kitty, listen to me. There is no Danielle Moonstar. You were just dreaming. No! I've never had a dream like that before! Well, you've never slept this long either. You've been in bed ever since your biking accident yesterday. But she was so real. Yes, I know. With some more rest, Kitty, it won't feel quite as vivid. <sighs> okay. I'll check on you later. Huh. Kitty. Professor, talk to you about that, Kitty. Uh, there is no... Why are you lying to me? Why is everyone lying to me? Kitty, uh, seriously, I'm telling you the truth. I don't know any Danielle. Wait a minute. The Professor must have wiped your memories of her. Kitty, would you listen to yourself? Teleport me to Dark Hollow. I can't. That's too far. Well, then get me as close as you can. <sighs> Go get changed. one up to the North Ridge takes the cup. Watch for obstacles. What kind of obstacles? And you're off! of Dark Hollow? What happened here? <gasps> Hello? Kitty? Are you there? I'm here. Where are you? Time is running out. 
Help me! Help me! <gasps> what are you doing? The phone rang. It was Danielle. She needs my help. Kitty, I'm worried about you. Here! Moonstar! 760 Maggie Blue Road. Uh, excuse me. I'm looking for the Moonstar family. Mister? Could you at least tell us what happened to this town? They all had enough of her. Who? My granddaughter, Danielle. <gasps> she is real. Is she here? No. She went hiking into the canyon and never came out. But... When was that? Two years ago. <laughs> Did I win? Yeah, Cannonball. You won our sympathies. Come on, Kitty. This doesn't make any sense. I won't abandon my friend. How can she be your friend? I don't know, Kurt. She just is, and she said time was running out. It is for us, too. This water is getting higher and higher. That's it! The water's rising! I bet she's trapped in here! For two years? And I think I know where. This is where I met her. Something tells me she's somewhere down there. Why don't we just go get help? You get help! I'm going down there! Kitty, no! You know, if you hadn't gone all cannonball on me, the race might have turned out different. Really? You mean I would have won? Of course not. But it'd have been close. Come on! We have to help Kitty! that you aren't either. Thank you for finding me. Don't thank me yet. I can't phase you up out of here. It's too far and you're too weak. Can't you teleport down there? Not without knowing where there is. We gotta get this water out of here. Iceman! Got it. My turn. Cameras can cave in. It's okay. Kitty, They're what? probably just trying to get to us. Kitty, how long have I been down here? Oh, way too long. What were you doing here anyway? I just just scaled down this fissure, and it just caved in on me. Hey, Danielle, stay awake. They'll be here soon. Taking 
Feeling better? Yes. Good. Because your grandfather will be here soon. Kitty, thank you for believing. Hey, how could I not believe? When you projected yourself into my mind, everything was so real. It was like we actually became friends. We did. But how did she survive down there? It was her mutant abilities. They put her into a form of hibernation. And she connected with Kitty through what? Some kind of out-of-body experience? Exactly, Logan. A psychic connection that made for a most unusual friendship. 